Today we're going to do a brake change video on a 2005 Toyota RAV4. So I already have the tire off and uh, here we are with the setup. So the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, well I sp sprayed everything with penetrating oil already, but you just have, can you hold this for a second please? You just have this bolt right here, which holds the, uh, oh I'm sorry, it's the one behind it with the boot. It holds the whole caliper assembly to the caliper bracket. So touch that with a little penetrating oil, we're going to get that off. Okay, so I just got these slide bolts off with a 14 millimeter and off she comes. So here is the caliper and these are the two bolts you want to get off. Um, so I can see right away that we have a bad boot here from the slide bolt and uh, a little bit of uneven wear. So the reason I'm replacing these today is the other side's bad. Uh, the uh, pads are, so I'm just replacing both sides at the same time. Okay, so now I just need to take off this little dust shield here, just pries off. I bought a new one, so that comes with your kit that you get. And the next step then is to get these pins out. But first, you want to get these wires. So this wire right here is threaded through a couple holes right there and right there, and that keeps these little pins from sliding off. All right, and there's the last pin. So I'll show you how to put those back on later. So now I'm just gonna get a punch and punch out these pins. I don't know if you can see right there, but that should be pretty simple. Punch in there and then just tap it with a hammer and it should come right out. All right, just getting the last pin out here. You take a lot of wobbling. Might help if you get some penetrating oil in here or something, but. So here we have the pin out. And you can kind of see how the pin goes through the little brake pads here. So it's just another, it's another type of system like we have over here with these slide bolts. It's another form of slide bolt, but it doesn't have a sealed boot like those do. So anyway, that's out and pads are out. So now I'm going to hang this up and uh, we'll get the drum disc off. Okay, so before I hang it up and get to the disc, I wanted to try to depress this piston. And this will tell me if the piston's good. If it goes in, that means it's good. If it's bad, it won't go in. That means dirt and water got underneath that seal and uh, is seizing it up. But my intuition says it's good, so we're gonna try to get in here, even though my channel locks are a little bit small. And that's about all it'll go in. All right, so I just have this wired up to this cho shock absorber up here, just to get it out of the way. You can do whatever you want for this. This is just my method. All right, so now this thing, oh, luckily it's not rusted. So here we go. This is what we're replacing. So here we have the brake, parking brake assembly. Um, I'm not going to replace this today because the shoes still have a little bit of meat on them. And the auto parts store that I went to didn't have them in stock. So another good reason to not do it. Um, but, I mean, you probably should do it if you're replacing the drum and rotor assembly, just an FYI. All right, so now it's time to put the new parts on. All right, so here's a new rotor uh, thing. I don't even know what to call this. If you know what it's called, put it in the comments. That would actually be really good. Um, but for storage, they put oil all over these. And obviously, if you're braking, you don't want oil on your brake rotor. So I'm just going to use some brake parts cleaner and uh, spray off some of the Cosmoline here, and then uh, we can put it on the wheel. All right, so just get this little grommet out of the old, old rotor there. We're just gonna put it into the new one. I'm not actually sure what this does, but probably to keep something. Oh, this is an adjustment, so you can adjust the uh, um, brake drum, the parking brake. If it, well, it's just like adjusting any old brake drum. All right, next part. <clears throat> We're gonna put this thing back together and lube it up, and then. Uh, well, we're almost done, so hang in there. Okay, so whenever you work on brakes, you have these little slider bolts um, that have boots here that hold in grease. You should always replace these every time you do a brake job. Um, but in order for me to replace these, I would have to buy the whole caliper, um, which I'm not gonna do because uh, it is beyond the scope and needs of this customer. So I'm just gonna get some grease and put it in here and uh, 
Again, I don't endorse doing this, but this is what I'm going to do because it meets the needs of what I'm doing. And uh, so this is the first step of greasing everything up. Um, and then we'll put the new hardware on and the new pads. And here we have the new pads. And anywhere where the caliper piston or metal is reaching metal on a brake system, you'll want to put some brake grease on. So just a little bit, smear it around. That way things can keep moving as they're supposed to and they don't seize up. Okay. Then we have these pins here. So before we put the new pads and hardware on, I'm just going to I would use a, usually use a wire brush, but I don't have one with me right now, so I'm just going to use some steel wool and kind of get in here and clean that up so the bolts and the uh, pads can move freely, and then we'll grease everything up. All right, put the pads on. So here we have the pad that has the little clip. So we know that that one from when I took it off, this one goes hitting the caliper piston. So the pin goes to the piston, remember that. that. Now we have our greased up slider bolts here. This goes through the hole. Ooh. Thread the needle. In there. Okay, so now we have these little wire hardware pieces that come with the hardware kit. And um, so there's some holes right here at the end of the pin. That, it's just simple. This is just holding the uh, these little rods or holding the little pins in. My hands are greasy. So get a piece of vice grips or rather a pair of needle nose. Okay, that's in there. And then you'll want to go underneath the pin and bend those tips so it doesn't come out. All right, next these little doodads. So long piece just goes in the middle. And uh, I forget how I did the other side. Oh yeah, nice tip for doing brakes. Do one side at a time so that you have a template to look at it. If in case you uh, get mixed up on where things go, it's particularly helpful with drum brakes. So, all right. So that's where we want it. Now, let's see if we can put it on here. And the next challenge, well, I hope that this is enough clearance to fit on the new rotor, but next challenge is to bolt this baby back onto the caliper bracket. All right, so we just have these slider bolts you need to bolt down again. Again, we're using a 14 millimeter, and uh, it's a little bit tricky to try to actually find the threads, but once you do, snug it up. Not too tight, because you want to be able to get it off next time. Then there's another one down below. I can find it. Oops. That one's snugged up. And then, last piece is this little dust cover that goes over the pads. So, I don't know if we can get around to see here, but, uh, so, all right. You can kind of see that these clips go over the pins right here. When in doubt, just look how it came on the car. So, start at the bottom. And this does take a little bit of tedious work. But that's all there is to it. And that'll stay in place and keep all the crap out of the uh, pads. And, uh, well, heck, we're done. So let's put the wheel back on and uh, tighten your lugs down to 80 to 100 foot-pounds. And uh, you're good to go. Thanks for watching.